The bone of contention is that you have been sitting on that throne for too long. Oh yes, Father, I have waited for that throne for too long. Because of this throne, Father, I was not allowed to live freely as a growing young man. Because of this throne, I could not do the things that I really wanted to do. You constantly told me, William, you are king. Act like one. Stand up straight. Because someday you are going to be sitting on that throne as a king. Father, have you suddenly become like our politicians who constantly tell us that we're leaders of tomorrow and they are still in power even as you and I speak? Father, because of that same throne, my love life was brought to peril. I was forced by you and your orders in council to marry a woman that I am not in love with. My life is on hold because of this throne. Father, can you not see it? So what, Father? So what? If I rule while you're still alive, Father, so what? For how long, Father, I, am I going to wait for you to join your ancestors so that I can become king? Father, what if I die waiting for you to die? <clears throat> Father, you have been king for too long. And I'm saying that it's high time you stepped down so that I can take that which belongs to me. That throne you are sitting on is my throne. As a matter of fact, Father. You're old and weak, too old to sit to the administration of Omoom. I don't care how you do it. Dead or alive, Father. Get out. Get out. Out. If I see you here again, if I see you here again, I'll be dead. You hear me? Get out. You want to see? Why? Stay away from me. Move. Move. See how she looks. Who is she that you are treating like a slave? Some, some, uh, your majesty. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Take her to where she can be cleaned up and send her out. understand why Prince William keeps on desecrating the royalty of this family with his promiscuous acts. Does he not know who he is? <laughs> if you're joking, is this kind of example he's going to set for his people? I'm embarrassed. Your Highness, what he did was very wrong. But I don't want you to bother yourself. I think I need to talk. Please do. Please do. This is very embarrassing. You know, even when I step out of the line, you know, he just cannot look past it. He would, he would blow it up, make a mountain out of a molehill. What did that ever do to him? Uh, my prince, to tell you the truth, I don't know why your father treats you the way he does. At times he forgets that you are the crown prince of this land and that you deserve some respect. Oh no, I deserve some respect. In fact, I deserve a lot of respect. Huh? And now he wants to push me out of the country. He's saying that he wants me to travel. Why do I need to travel? My prince, you know, I was never in support of that. But don't worry. I think I need to talk to him. Talk to him, more. Yeah. Oh no, we'll talk to my father. Because he listens to you. As for the trip, I'm not going anywhere. Because I clearly do not see why I need to travel.
So get the guys to come clear this place out. Good day, my prince. Good day. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Who is she? My prince. Hmm? It seems you don't know Olama. My prince. She's Alama. The daughter of late or former. The less popular preacher in this community. Is that so? Yes, my prince. So how come I have never seen her before? My prince. That's because she doesn't mingle much with other girls in this community. She's always your father's house. And my prince, I can ascertain. She's a good and respectful girl. She's the most decent girl in this community. I want her. My hmm? prince. Yes. Please, my prince. What? It's better you forget about her. My prince, I'm afraid she might not listen to you. Why would she not listen to you? My prince. Hmm? She's from a very decent family. A very responsible family. Mm. With a very strong moral upbringing. <laughs> My prince, I'm afraid she might not listen to you. <laughs> now I want her even more, huh? I want her. You know what they say? The more difficult they prove to get, the sweeter the chase. Huh? Yes, my prince. The phone is in the chase. I want her. Get the boys to come clear this place out tomorrow. Huh? Okay, my Crime have we committed to warrant this visit? You have committed no crime. <sighs> but you should be thankful and grateful that the crown prince, I mean the soon to be king of this kingdom, is at your house. Huh? You would agree with me that it's indeed a very big privilege. Huh? <laughs> I'll get straight to the point. All I might have come to see you. I'd like for you to join me in the car so that we can talk, eh? Uh, excuse me. Olama is very busy. She can't follow you to the car to talk alone. Whatever you want to say to her, you must say in my presence. Woman, I have just said that I would like to speak with her. Alone. In the car. It's not like I'm taking her away yet, no. We need to talk. You know, my mother had everything said if there's anything you want to say and you can't say it in front of her then i'm sorry it's not what it's not Mama, sit down. greetings my friends I'm sorry, my prince, but His Highness, your father, asked me to come and call you. Get out. Tell him that I am busy and I am coming. I'm sorry, my prince, but it's urgent. He demands you come now.
Yes, son. I called you because I like you to know that I want you to travel abroad, overseas, for further studies. By so doing, you will widen your scope and prepare yourself as a better man when you become the king of this kingdom. Do I need to travel, father, to become a better king? Yes, you do. Um, you will get away from this your comfort zone and begin to think like a good man and uh, put away all the rubbish you do with the maidens of this kingdom. I think you need to go on board. It's fun. Sorry I brought you out of your home. It's okay. But you're the prince. Besides, you left your paradise to come see me. <laughs> so what do I owe this? Like you have said, I am a prince. And I don't know how to woo women, so I'll just get straight to the point, Olama. I have fallen in love with you. And I love to marry you. I never knew that we had an angel like you in this town until that day. When I saw you for the first time. And I haven't been myself since then. Oh my prince. You just said that you barely know me. So how come you love and want to marry me? I don't need a lifetime to get to know you. Once you find the right one, like I have found you, you just know. And everything about you begins to yearn for that person. Like my heart yearns for you right now. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep last night. I thought of you all night and that's why I've asked you to, to meet me here so that we can talk, please. I need your permission, Ola. So I can speak to my father about taking you as my wife. Hmm? Come on, this man wants you. Can you not see it? I don't know what to say. I'm still in shock. Because it's all so sudden, right? I love you. So much. You don't have to say anything now. Just, just come to me. Please. Where's Mama? Oh, she's sleeping. Greetings to you. 
Greetings. Greetings. I hope all is well. The prince has asked me to bring you to the palace. And his father, the king, wants to meet you. And I know you don't want to keep them waiting. Um, no problem. But I'll be coming with my friend. The prince said I should bring only you. He wants you to meet his father, the king. Just go with him. Are you sure? I'll come back later for the full gist. First time you are being reasonable since you grew up. <laughs> and I must say, I'm impressed. But you see, as a young man with a great future, including the vision of being the ruler of this kingdom, a lot is expected from you. You need to set an example to us. You need to change your ways and moves so that others will copy you. That is why I believe that sending you abroad will help you prepare yourself for the future that you have. We hope that the experience you will gain from your surgeon abroad will mold you into a better human being. Your Highness. Ah, daughter of the soil. I right. humble myself before the great king of this land. Thank May you. your reign be forever. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. <laughs> I learned you're the only daughter of the great or former the preacher. Yes, my king. Oh, how's your mother? She's fine, my king. Hey, your father was a good man, an honest man. But I used to admire him a lot as he walked around the neighborhood preaching the word and compelling us or guiding us into the white man's way of life. He was a faithful believer in the religion of the white man. He used to tag along beside him as he went around the village disturbing the whole neighborhood. They so we thought. But now I know that he was with the, his preaching. But now we know that it was his attempt to make us better man prepare us for a life of better good. <laughs> uh, that's okay, Papa. I, um, I brought her here so that I can show her around and get her to become more familiar with royalty and the pass. <laughs> so if you do not mind that, I'd love to show her around. Oh, it's alright. <laughs> all right. Take care, Thank you. Mama, mm -hmm. um, remember I told you how the prince always stops me on the road whenever he sees me? Yeah, I remember. You, you mentioned, mentioned it a couple of times. Well, I finally decided to give him a chance to listen to what he has to say. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So, what did he say? Um, he said that he loves me and he would like to marry me. Just like that? Yes, just like that. 
He even introduced me to his father, the king, today. And he approves of it. And when he asked you to marry him, did you take it to God in prayers? Uh -uh. Mama, what is there to pray about again? We know Igwe as a just king. And if he approves of their union, then it's a blessing from God. Mm. Yes, I know. But the same God said we should approach him in prayers so that he will direct our path. Mom, Ma? hmm? you need to pray before you take any decision. Okay? Okay, Ma. And I'll join you in the prayers. Well, you will join me in the prayers. Well, join me in this one and listen attentively. It's a Proverbs chapter 23. It says, when you sit down to eat with a ruler, consider carefully what is before you. You're very fine. Yeah. <laughs> Hurry up. Yes. It is a feast for Mama. <laughs> it is a feast for you. <laughs> My feast for me. Many more would come. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. Never touch us. Thank you very much. Huh? Mama. <laughs> Hey! Hey, you someone can have you? This is for you. Mama. Not that, not that, not that. Are you sure I can sit? You can sit, Mama. Come on, come in. Hey! Mama. Now I have to sit. Come Eh? Mama, you see, I have spotted a very beautiful flower in your compound. So I have brought these gifts to show gratitude and appreciation. That you brought forth a beautiful woman like all of Nah, it's eh? the Lord's doing. <laughs> and it is good in your sight. Of course it is. <laughs> hey. Uh, uh, hola. Mm -hmm. Kedu. I, I want you to know that I am ready for you to go back to school so that you can study and, you know, have a master's degree. Olama, you are going to be my woman and I want you to be up to standard. <laughs> hey, what I go? Hey, thank you. Prince, I don't even know what to say. Uncle Bema Kifi Bute, Uncle Bema Kadi, the master's thing. But I must tell you one thing, eh? In it all, I am happy. Your kindness and generosity is unprecedented. Oh my God, I won't be doing it. <laughs> this is only the beginning, eh? I'm family now. Uh, you shouldn't be this way. Uh, um, so what, what are you going to do when I finally build you a house? Eh? Well, yeah, why you? No, 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 you are just sitting down there. Come and hug me. Eh? Eh. You are the reason I'm here. I shall stand up uh, to receive this hug. Eh? You will need a side hug. Eh? <laughs> Hola, ma. Oma le changwa. Side hug. Well, fuck. Look at me. 
Look at her, all shy. Eh? Yes, yeah, so very shy. Mama, Emma. this is only the beginning. Yeah. Uh, my primary assignment is to put a smile on your face. It's already laughter. A <laughs> smile on my face. Mama, uh, it's a busy day for me. I decided to quickly stop by and see you too. I shall come see you. Okay. Eh? We look forward to your visit. Kanje No, no, Puma. Hola, mom. I'll see you soon. Okay, my friends. Hey, I'm up with you. My dear, I would have missed the good place. There's a man there. Which I have. No, 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 I know you like me, I like me too, but control yourself, Prince, please, please, can we not do this now, and just, you know, take our time, let's not rush, you know, I want you, and let's not go through this again, I love you, what have I not done to prove to you that I love you? You I even brought you to my father. I brought you to the palace. Because I want you to be my woman. Huh? I also promise to send you back to school. For your masters. Because I really love you. Come on, I need you to trust me. Huh? You have already trusted me with your soul. I need you to trust me with your body. You will not regret it. Please. I want you. The whole of my body wants you. If you had let me go when I wanted to, this wouldn't have happened. Now, what if I get pregnant? I didn't know you were a virgin, I'm sorry, okay? If I had known, I would have just let you be. Um, but not to worry, you'll be fine, okay? These things happen. Is that what you have to say? What else would you have me say? Um, I don't like virgins. It's, it's a lot of work. It's too much work. I had to do a lot to get in the first place. It, it takes away from the fun. It's, it's stress, okay? But like I said, not to worry. These things happen. Please relax. Let me be. I'm, I'm trying to sleep. You're you going to be out and tired. Can I just sleep? No? You want me out and tired. Is this right? Is this right? Why you try to play games with people's rights? All in one mind. Hola, ma. Ever since you came back from the palace, you've been sitting here shedding tears. Organi. I'm fine, Mama. Osim, I'm fine. You're fine. <laughs> How can you be fine when, when you're crying? Talk to me, what is the problem? At least, I know that you're not the kind of child that lies. Especially to her mother. So what is it? What happened? Did the prince beat you? Well, you don't need to worry about me. I'm fine. Well, Sima, I don't need to worry about her. So, who would I worry about? My only child, I can't worry about her. People go to the palace, they come back happy. You can jebulu akwa wa enata. Osim, don't worry about her.
Is this the love that you said you have for me? Is it? Ever since you took advantage of me, you don't check on me, no messages, nothing. Why? Nothing. But if you feel that I've offended you, Lama, I apologize. You know, this is actually the first time I'm apologizing to a woman. And that is because I do not want my father to know about this. Know about what? You want the truth, right? The truth? But what is the truth? That I never loved you, Alamma. Yeah. Everything that happened was the game. It was just a ploy to get you on my bed. You know, you were presented like some, some monument, some, some prized jewel, and I just wanted to have a feeling of you. So I had to do all of that to make you believe in me because I did not want to force you. So I went through all of that stress. It was a lot of work, by the way. So forget me. Huh? Forget everything that we had. I don't love you. You say you're pregnant, huh? That's what people do. You get rid of it for your own good. Because I can't marry you. I mean, you, <laughs> you're not my kind. You're not... You don't fall in the league of women that I want. You're not there. You're just some village girl running around. Fortunately for you, you look beautiful. And unfortunately... For you, I conquered you. Had a good time. It was good while it lasted, Olamma. Get rid of that thing that you're carrying for your own good. So that you can meet another village man who will like you for who you are. Get out of the car. Don't bother me. <laughs> to tell my mother. It's not necessary. She needs to know. Because if she finds out from someone else, she's going to feel betrayed. I really need to let her know. Okay. Should I come with you? Maybe put a word to her. <laughs> no. There's no need. Thank you. You sure? I'll handle it myself. Sure. Yeah, I am. Everything will be fine. Hmm? It's okay. Thank you. 
my prince. I am always grateful to be of help to you. So what is that thing that troubles your mind this time? There's a meeting in this land that um, that claims to be pregnant for me. Uh, but you see, she's not my kind. She's from a very low background. Very low background. Yeah. And if what she's saying is true, then I'm worried. Uh, my prince, did you actually do it? I mean, did you sleep with her? You know, I'm not lie to you. I know you are my man. I, uh, I went there. Okay, what? Uh, yeah, I, I did it. You did, it. but just once, yes, just once, yes, and that is what is confusing. Just once, and she's saying that she's pregnant. How? <laughs> I understand. It is obvious that she wants money. Give her money and tell her to get rid of that child. Oh, that my stubborn. Mm. Mm. I get a stubborn. I doubt if she will get rid of that pregnancy even with money. I, I doubt it. My prince, mm -hmm. the day you allow other to stand in your way is the day you allow yourself to fall. You must prevail to your last breath. Failure is not an option. All you need is to enclose your heart in times of need. With the steel of your determination and your strength. In doing all this, all things will be bearable. Mm. Give her lots of money. There is a price for everyone. Everyone has a price tag. Yes, offer her the right price and she will leave you alone. I bet you. Mm. Oh no. Mm. <laughs> My prince. <laughs> <Dialogue. laughs> Are you there? Hmm. I'm not there. Forgive me. Forgive you for what? I have sinned against you and against God. What happened? <sighs> I'm pregnant. <laughs> It was a mistake. It was a mistake. A mistake that has been haunting me since it happened, Mama. It was a mistake. The prince is responsible. Yes, Mama. 
and he denied it. The important thing is that you told me. Don't worry. God has not forgotten us. He has our back. It's all right, my daughter. I'll take care of you. I'll take care of you. You need to be strong, okay? You need to be strong. What do you want? I am here because you are poor. And naturally, poor people are always in dire need of money. I know you want money. And I've come with it. All I'm going to take this money and get rid of that bastard that you claim you're carrying in your womb. And let me state this now, I do not ever want to see you again. I am done with you. And hey, my father, the king, you must not hear about this. If that happens, I can assure you personally that I am going to kill you and kill your mother. Right here is 300,000 Naira. I'm sure you will need more than 7,000 to get rid of that bastard that you're carrying. But hey, you're poor. You need money. Take it. And get rid of that thing you're carrying. You don't scare me with your words. I will not terminate this child. Olama. Look at me. I know I look very gentle, but I can assure you that I'll be the most poisonous seed you will ever chew. And I will show you that even the most beautiful fig tree can have worms. <laughs> ah. I will give you two market days to get rid of that nonsense you're carrying. If you don't do it, I'm going to get boys to begin to dig your grave. Because I will kill you myself. I will kill you personally. Myself. You better come back and pick your money. Prince Williams. Oh. Prince Williams. Oh. Now. Stealing in this land is a very serious crime with severe consequences and punishments. I cannot excuse such a crime in my palace. Someone went into my bedroom 
and took away the sum of 300,000 Naira from my briefcase. Which amongst you people did this? Answer me! Now listen to me, all of you. I give the person who took my money three hours, whoever did it, to go and put back the money where she got it and come and confess. Or else, I'll use my own method to find out who did it. And you won't like the consequences because it will be disastrous. No answer. Now leave my sight out of all of you. I'm sorry I did. Are you okay? What is it? I'm fine. No, Oju. You are not fine. Look, I know we might not be getting along in this palace. But that does not mean you can't talk to me. What is eating you up? What's the same with you? I said I'm fine. Yes, you said you are fine. But I am telling you that you are not fine. You've been muddy throughout today. Would you? Ever since the king announced about the missing money, you've not been yourself. Wait, would you? Did you by any chance know or saw anything about the money? I beg your pardon. Don't bring words out of my mouth, please. No, 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 would you? Would you? It's not what you think. I, I didn't mean to say you were the one that stole the money. Look, would you? You were the one that cleaned His Majesty's room. Maybe you saw the money wrongly kept. Mm. I saw someone. Who? Can I trust you? Talk to me. Who did you see? What? Shh! Put your voice down. You, you mean you saw... Why didn't you tell the king about it? I was scared. You know who Prince Williams is. Whoever messes with him is digging his or her grave. That's my fear. Hmm. Huh. In that case, you still do not know what his majesty would do if he finds out that you knew the truth and you hid it from him. Hmm. Would you? If I were you, I would go straight to the king and tell him the truth. No matter what, this baby must see the light of day. Mama, I've already made up my mind not to terminate the baby. Thank God. But, but what? My fear is Prince Williams. The look in his eye is very scary. <laughs> Forget the look in his eyes. Nothing would happen to you. I, your mother, would take care of you. This, my niece, will be on the ground in prayers for you. All right? <laughs> Thank you, Mama. For nothing. Now I have to change your diet. <laughs> You'll do more vegetables and fruits. And no more hard work. Anything right. you say, Mama. 
a lot of prayers prayers all the way a lot of prayers do we start now yes, with our psalm 23 the lord is our shepherd greetings your majesty yes speak are you the one that took my money you are the one that cleaned my room today aren't you um yes your majesty uh, forgive me i was about to clean your room this morning and I saw, I saw... You saw what? Speak before I lose my patience. Father, why am I being escorted by the guards like a comma? What is going on, Father? William. Father. I'm going to ask you this once. And I'm asking you not as your father, but as your king. Where is the money you stole from my briefcase? <laughs> something I need to tell you. Something very important. I am sorry I hid it from you. What is it? <laughs> this maiden Olama, daughter of the late preacher, is pregnant for the prince and the prince threatened to kill the girl should she keep the pregnancy or in any way let you know about it
something so delicate and serious as this and deemed it fit to withhold it from me? Oh, no, why? How can you do such a thing? If I had known this, I would not have let the prince travel out this morning. Ah. I am sorry for not telling you, Your Highness. But do you mean to say that the prince has left the country? Yes. This is a disaster. Fear not, Ifechi. The king sent me in peace. And that's how it all happened. Hmm. Olama, I must commend your courage to stand against him and refused to terminate the pregnancy. But you should have come to the king instead. Uh, no. We wanted to. But you know it's not easy getting to the king. Besides, the prince had told her to abort the child. And we were afraid of what his reaction would be if we had come to the palace to tell him that the child is still there. So we, we decided that we would bring up the child ourselves. Hmm. That's wisdom. You know, it is said that there is no comparison between that which is not lost by succeeding and that which is not lost by not trying. Uh, <clears throat> you should have tried. But all the same, I want to commend you for that singular act of keeping the child. In fact, the king promised that he will take the full responsibility of the child and also perform the traditional rights of you becoming the prince's wife. Huh? That is, if you wish to marry him. Hey, oh no. Please, please send our appreciation to the king. We, we, we appreciate his graciousness, his, his kindness. He's everything. And one more thing. Yes. Whenever you need anything, don't hesitate to come and tell him. He's ready to support you financially in any way. <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you so much, no. I'm speechless. Thank you. Oh, I'm, 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 great, great Igwe, please. <laughs> thank you. What do we offer you? I have one, one old piece of meat that has been by the uh, fire. Eventually. It's not rotten. Eh? I know. Don't bother. <laughs> I am fine. What have I done to myself? Huh? Telling Igwe about that girl's pregnancy so he can stop the prince from traveling. Now the table. Now the table has turned upside down. Huh? Hey. So that poor dirty girl is about to become a queen in this land. Mbana. Huh? So what is my gain now? What is my gain? Papa, 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 papa,
What is it now? Won't I have rest of mine in my own father's house again? Eh? Why are you just making noise up and down? Eh? Me, I'm a Joa! Don't get your tongue! Yes, I believe. But please, when when next you want to soliloquize, just gently enter your room so that I can have rest of mine. Hey, baby, we're breaking on me! I'm not here! What kind of child is this? Eh? Are you sure I'm the one that gave birth to this idiot? I love you. Oh my God. So you accepted to marry the prince after what he has done to you. Chisom, I did not accept to marry the prince just because I love him. Well, because my son, my child, needs a father. You can hand them the child and go on with your life. God forbid. God forbid that another woman will raise my child while I'm still alive. I was just saying that. Can you just stop? Stop. God knows that this child is everything to me. It's okay. Everything will be fine. That's all we up now. Be fruitful. Alright, I'll see you later. You too. Take Thank care of yourself. You too. I'll take care of that later. I will. Say hi to your mom for okay, me as well. I have already instructed the guards. They will take you to his school and bring you back. Thank you, Your Highness. You never cease to amaze me with your kindness. Sometimes I feel I'm failing in some of my responsibilities. Kelechi is my first grandson and soon to be the crown prince of this land. So he deserves the best of everything. Your Highness, you are doing everything. Ah. Yes. Look at Kelechi. He attends the best school in this region. Mm -hmm. He dresses well. Looks good. All because of you. Thank you, Your Highness. Thank you. I think you should start going now. Thank you, see you soon. All right. Bye. Look after Kelechi well. I will. <laughs>
Nas, where is the ball? I will ask you this, just once. Where is the ball? Lost at the uh, Amok uh, Mountains. Tell me, what are you thinking about? Mama, I had the most scariest dream last night. What happened? My mouth cannot contain the quantity of joy I have in my heart and cannot express it fully. Because today is a special day, a great day in the life of this family, our kingdom, our ancient community. Because today is the day that marks the return of the crown prince, the heir to this throne on which I sit. After a surgeon for a long period in the white man's land, where we sent him to acquire some of the white man's knowledge and education so that he can come back prepared 
could be a better king than I have been. <laughs> so you are most welcome. Igwe. <laughs> Igwe. Your Highness. Everyone in this, our kingdom of Umoma, knows that you are a great king and a father to us. And we are most grateful that you are preparing our ground prince in a modern way so he can lead our people and continue the good legacy which you have left behind. Yes. <laughs> Your Majesty, who know who is right. And that is why all through the night I couldn't sleep because I was eagerly waiting for the day to break. Yeah. And behold our okay. crown prince. <laughs> Where your Our future king. <laughs> Where your highness? You see, those years is right. Because he came to my place at the third crop. Oh, at that time, you were already. Oh, <laughs> that means you too were waiting for the day to break. That's a great thing. Your highness, it is only a man who Amadio had blessed with madness will not know what a day today is in our kingdom. Uh, well, you are most welcome. <sighs> it's all right, my daughter. Everything will be all right. Especially since you cancelled the dream with prayers in the night. Don't worry, nothing will happen to you. Mama, I need to go visit Kelechi. I need to be sure that he is fine. But it's not the visiting day. Uh, besides, the prince will be coming back from Denmark today. And the king wants to host him. I mean, have a big party for him. Are you not going to be there? Mama, I don't care if he returns or not. All I care about is the well-being of my son. Mama, that dream still scares me. I need to be sure that my son is doing good. But... Considering the rules and regulations of the school, do you think they would allow you to see him? I'll have to give it a try. I need to be sure that my son is doing well. In the dream, I was with him before I got hit. Then all of a sudden, I couldn't find him anymore. And none of us in the dream could tell where he was. Mama, I am worried. I need to go see Kilichi. Oh, I, I guess it's understandable. Well, Yejin, if you have to be Yejin. But I promise you one thing. He's going to be all right. Our prayers mm. can't be in vain, eh? Mm. So what did you prepare for breakfast? <laughs> I'll go get you something, Mama. I can't wait. Mm. Now, oh no. Uh, I would like you to go along with the children to the airport to bring back the prince. Uh, you will stay here with me and help put the final touches to the preparation for the banquet for his reception. Yeah. Um, oh, Odima, your highness, when is the flight arriving? Oh, 1.45 p.m. the train oh. In that case, we should start going now so that we can meet up with him. Yeah, the girls have been instructed and they know what to do. They'll take good care of you. Oh, yeah. it's your corner. Yeah. Let's start going. Yeah, the journey is a bit far. Yeah. <laughs> so that we can meet up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs>
today we have come to welcome back my son Prince William of Omowoma land who has been abroad for many years and is due to come back to Omowoma kingdom today I have just received a call that they are already on their way here and as I speak to you, he will be arriving very soon. Good night. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to get to this palace. Yes. Mama. Since you came back from Kelechi's house, you've been all gloomy. Maybe you should get ready and go and enjoy with them at the palace. God forbid. Hey. God forbid, Mama. God forbid that I dine with those vultures. But all Lama people change. And Prince William is no different. I mean, three years in a foreign land would have molded him into a better person. Mama. Mama, you forget that the zebra always goes everywhere with the stripes. Do you still love him? what you have to do for the day to welcome me. It is so humbling. Thank you. It feels good to be back home. It feels good to be back home. That 
Morning, Father. Ah, good morning, son. The day is very bright, and the birds of the air are happy for what it portends. How was your night? Oh, very well, Father. How was yours? Ah, bless the gods of our ancestors for their benevolence. Son, when are you going to see your child and his mother. Uh, Father, our driver will talk about other matters. No, son. Olama is a factor you must always think of. She has your child, your first seed. So you must brace yourself now to take full responsibility over them. So, 
Go and see her. You know where she lives. I'm afraid, Father, that is not going to happen. <laughs> I was just coming to your house. Ah. I didn't see you at the palace yesterday. Palace? Yes. Was I supposed to be at the palace? Ah. Stop the sarcasm. You want to tell me you didn't know the prince returned yesterday? Yeah. Eh. And I didn't know I had to be at the palace for the prince to return to his father's house. I see you are still angry at the prince. That's not the point. I had so much fun yesterday. There was enough to eat, to drink. Hey, you missed. Mm. <laughs> ah, thank you for the news. Did you also share money? Funny. Mm. Uh, they didn't share money, but there was enough to eat and drink. Mm. I don't have food in my house. I'm hungry. Mm. Please, just um, I was on my way to go get Kilichi drugs. Don't tell me about Kilichi. Uh, Is he not in school? My dear, I went to see him yesterday and he was pretty down. So he's receiving malaria treatment. Uh, hmm. Now I go. know why you were not at the palace. Chisum, I need to run. You can come to the house later. No problem. I'll come around for. Bye bye. Take care of yourself. Cross, should I disappoint you? I'm glad that you know what I am capable of. Because now we don't miss. You're welcome to the palace. Thanks. <laughs> Good afternoon, my daughter. Hope you're feeling entertained. Very well, your highness. Uh, Dad, I need Miss Tracy. Tracy. Uh, you were taking a nap when she came in. Um, she's the daughter of Tony Paul, Nigeria's ambassador to Denmark. Oh, yes. Mm. Mm. Um, Sam, we well, need to have a little chat. So maybe Tracy can excuse us for a moment. Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you, Your Highness. Send her back. 
She is not welcome in this palace. Or Lama is a maiden from this kingdom whom you will take as a wife. Hmm. Uh, Father, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to marry that witch. It will not happen. You call her a witch now? Yet, you put her in the family way. You made her pregnant. Hola. Hola. Chisum. Welcome. What is wrong with you? Nothing. I'm fine. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How are you? My friend. Huh? I totally understand what you're going through. But you don't have to let it worry you. Whatever happened between you two is in the past now. So you shouldn't let his thoughts disturb you. Chisum, I still love him. He's the only man that I've ever known. I love him even though he broke my heart. He's still the father of my child. Then you should have gone for his welcome party. At least your presence would have brought back memories to him. Just mm -mm. no. Although I still love him, but I'm still scared of what he might do in knowing that I did not abort the child as he threatened. <sighs> to tell you the truth, you have every right to be worried. But I know that God will make you weak. And everything will be all right. Hmm? Sure. Thank you. Let me help you with this. So, hurry up and meet for Okay. Smile. <laughs> Hey babe, what are you doing all by yourself? I've been sitting so lonely at the garden. <laughs> um, nothing. I just like to sit out here sometimes, you know. You know, for me, this place comes with a lot of memories. I used to sit out here a lot with my mother. So each time I come here, It sort of brings me closer to her. You and your mom must have been so close. Extremely close. It's okay, babe. I understand how you feel. I'm sure wherever she is now, she'll be so happy that you've gone back to be with your father again. And I know I won't be able to take her place. But I promise, I'll try my best to make sure you don't miss her that much again. Okay? You know I love you, right? Thank you, Tracy. I am confident that you're going to do a decent job. Yeah, sure, babe. You can trust me. I love you too, you know. I love you so much. That is why you're here, because I love you. Babe, what do you mean? And when is that young woman leaving? Father, why is it that every time I, I, I 
choose to spend time with you so that we can bond. You spoil it. When did I ever agree with you that Tracy will be leaving? Leave for who, by the way? Look for who? That village girl called Olama? No, Dad. No. William. Olama is your wife. And nobody else. That is a fact. That why is Olama so special to you? What makes her special? Can you not see that I don't love her? I don't love her that I'm not going to marry her. You cannot invite the locusts to a feast and then blame them for ravaging that which gives them joy. Apart from that, by tradition, it is taboo for a king or a prince to have a child or children outside wedlock. Secondly, the day you brought the dead Dalama to me, I was seated on the throne of my ancestors in the presence of the gods and they were witnesses. To do anything apart from decisions taken on that day will raise the wrath of the gods. And surely you don't want to dare the gods of this land, William, do you? Every time the gods, the gods, the gods, the gods, father. What do the gods have to do with who I choose to marry? William, I've made it crystal clear. Allah is your wife and nobody else. It won't happen. That is total nonsense. It won't happen. I won't do it. Hmm. Son, hallucinations are a fact, not an error. The error is basing judgment. Hallucinations, son. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Greetings to you, Olama. Uh, greetings. I hope all is well. Yes, all is well. His Highness requests your presence and that of the young prince to the palace. Okay, ma. But as you can see, I'm trying to feed him. We will come as soon as we are done. Or oh, would you like to wait? Yes. I'd rather wait. Oh, okay. Feel at home. May your days be longer than that of the Oguru season. Greetings, my daughter. May your days outlast the Oguru season. Thank you. Ah, how is my little grandson? He's doing fine. Bring him, let me touch him. <laughs> oh, yes. Hello. hello. How are you today? Hi. Ooh, nice, fine boy. <laughs> Please sit down. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, you know. Greetings. Uh, uh, it's alright, my dear. Uh, so, how are you doing? I'm fine, boy. <laughs> yeah. Go and tell the maiden that they attended to my son William. Tell her 
I'd like to see her here. So, hello. <laughs> Young prince in waiting. <laughs> my daughter. Yes, Your Highness. Do you love my son, William? Yes, Your Highness. I love him very much. Did he tell you that he has a son? and the woman who are both waiting for him to come back to this country. Did he tell you that? No, Your Highness. He never told me anything like that. But, Your Highness, that he has his son doesn't mean we can't go on. What matters is that we love each other very much. And... I don't mind taking the son as mine, and I will take good care of him. Hmm. My daughter, you don't seem to understand. If not for anything else, I would love to have you as my daughter-in-law because of your background. But I can't. Because tradition forbids it. Tradition compels the prince to marry the woman who bears his first son. And that cannot go against the tradition. Otherwise, if he doesn't do that, he will invoke the wrath of the gods. We cannot go against the will of the gods. I don't wish you to have to live a life here that we'll regret later. So I'll advise you, my daughter, to go back to your father. Because my son is already taken by tradition. Okay, Your Highness. Thank you very much. Going back to Abuja, and from there I'll fly back to Denmark. What are you talking about? We don't need to plan this. I'm not a prisoner, and I can go whenever I want. Okay. I can tell you upset about something. Calm down. Calm down. Let's right? stop. Just listen now. like you don't know. Your dad told me everything. I thought you loved me. You have a woman and a son. And the tradition demands that you get married to her. What am I doing here? What do you take me for? A sister or what? No, you're not a sister. I need you to ignore my father. He gets that way sometimes. He just likes to, you know. Oh, please, cut the crap. Don't even drag him into this. That man is a good man. Who wants nothing but good for his son? You know what? I forgive you. But there's no way I'm staying. So I'm leaving. Please don't go. And don't even try to stop me. You're the one that I love. I don't love that woman. I'm leaving. Don't leave. I can't stay here. I don't have any place here.
just to only for one day. Okay, maybe the gift. Prince you the Dania. Anytime you see women, on a good kiche, kiche puta. Prince William, did you miss your way? I wish I did. That way I wouldn't have to ruin my day with the sight of you. I see. Do you hate me that much? Oh yes, I hate you. So much. By the time I look at you, all I want to do is strangle you to death. I hate you. Wow. Well, since you despise me that much, why are you here? Because I can't remember inviting you. Where is that bastard son of yours? Where is he? Prince Williams, you will not come into my house and call my son a bastard. And what if I do? Hola, ma. What if I do? What are you going to do? Huh? Williams, leave my house. Did you just address me as Williams? The crown prince of this land, the next king of this land. You call me by my first name? Huh? Please, Prince Williams, I beg you in the name of whatever it is you respect, leave my house. No! I won't leave. Where is he? Where is my son? Where have you kept him? Yeah, you, you call him my son, right? My son? Why would I have to beg? Eh? To see him? Why have you kept him? Where is he? Eh? Why are you hiding that boy? Is there something I should know? Eh? Is there something that you're not telling us? Why are you hiding him? Why are you keeping him from me? Huh? What are you talking about? I'll tell you what I'm talking about. The royal family have decided that you'll have to bring that boy to the palace for a DNA test. That way we are sure he's my son. That way we are sure that he's royalty and you just did not open your legs for some village laborer and you're trying to force him on me. That's why I'm here. Will you just leave my house? No! I would not leave. All I'm my Two days, bring that boy for DNA test in two days. If you do not, <laughs> uh, <laughs> two days, or else, <laughs> Mama, I understand. I know you told me not to allow Prince William to come close to my son. But he was here today asking for a DNA test to ascertain his paternity. You should not trust him. Prince William is not to be trusted. You of all people should know that. You've known from the onset that that boy, or rather man, Prince, cannot be trusted. He doesn't mean anything uh, uh, good for this boy. Yes, and you know, as long as Kelly she is alive, Prince William cannot marry any other woman but you. Mama, I don't think so. I don't think he will want to harm his own son. Okay. Besides, I think it's high time he knows the truth. Maybe it will make him behave well. If you say so, Onyakambu, but me, I cannot trust him. And you shouldn't. Mama, it will be fine. Our God will protect him. But we should also protect him as human beings. Eh? Everything will be okay. Um, Prince Williams, you asked I see you here instead of the palace. I hope all is well. I wanted solitude. It is a serious matter. Okay. Go ahead. Take it. What? That is two million naira. I want the test results of the DNA tests to come back negative. 
place um, with all due respect my prince it is against the ethics of my job besides your father the, the king is involved in this i can't lie to him i'll make it five minutes I'd advise that you be prudent and take that money as an advance payment. Remember, refusal to do this would come with consequences. Take the money and go. Yeah, boss. Sorry we lost them. I don't know how, I don't know how. We just lost them. I, I'm, 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 I'm very, very sorry. I'm very, very sorry. I'm sure we're going to make it up to you. Please. I'm sorry. To the parish. Okay. I had a terrible nightmare last night. Ah, really? Okay, why don't you come inside? Let's go back to your house and talk about it. Okay, okay. Just okay. come in. Thank you, Father. All right. You have to stay safe until the doctor brings the result. And then I can take you to the palace and ask the king for your immunity. That's great. Thank you so much, Father. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, and while you stay safe, I want you to devote your time to prayers and ask God for his directions. We'll do exactly that, Father. All right. Thank you. I shall be on my way now. Let's pray. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who oh, made heaven and earth. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, so and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And you too, Father. Thank you so much. I think um, we should do exactly what the Father has said. 
Hey, Grandma. Mama, please, I want to go inside and rest my head for a while. Sure. Baby, come. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, I hope this result has no mistakes in it. I hope it is a hundred percent correct. Johannes, I am certain this result is authentic. Yes. That's good. At least William will now accept his responsibility as a father. Thank you, Your Highness. I will take my leave now. I have some patients I want to attend to. Very much. Thank you, Your Highness. Uh, what are you doing here? Did I not tell you not to give the results first to my father? Son, father. Now that the DNA results are here, that puts an end to this matter and settles the issue once and for With this result and the recent attempts on the lives of mother and child, I hear a decree that a lama and his son will come and live in this palace until the day they are prepared to carry out the marriage rites. And mind you, until that is done, we will not sit at this table. You can't threaten me like that. No, you can't tie me to this thing. No, father. It's not right. I've already done so. Alan, I believe you endured a lot, but it is now coming to an end. I will send the royal guards to come bring your things along with pillage. Father, Father, is me all lama. Yes, Father. Father, please, I need you to do me a favor. Yes, please. Please, I need you to help me get Kalichi from the house and help me bring him to the palace. Father, this, the king said he will send his guards, but Father, I'm worried. I'm scared. 
I heard the prince making some funny phone calls. And I don't want anything to happen to my son. Yes, Father. Thank you very much, Father. Yes, thank you. Okay. Bye.
Where is the boy? When I got into the house, it was empty. Of course, come! It's a big lie. You shall be lie. I didn't see anybody. I, I, can't, I can't lie to you. I can't lie to you. I didn't see anybody. Just, you don't want to tell me the truth, right? That's the truth. That's the truth. Come here, Nida. Go down. Just come on. Follow me. Hello, boss. Idiot said he did not see the little boy. Yes. Oh, 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 oh,
that the king has forced all Allah on the prince, what is he going to do? When I heard about it, I was so happy. Because no one is bigger than tradition. <laughs> Although I know he's not happy about it, but he has no choice. He will gather anti fire firewood, cause the lizard for a feast. That's why they say, law for man, not man for law. I'm happy for her. Same I just here. pray she's nice to us. I hope so. The both of you should try and leave gossip so that gossip will leave you. There's enough work to be done already and all you choose to do is gossip? My God! That's love for a cracked house does not make it the owner. I will take your life away. My daughter, you said you wanted to have a discussion with me. Please. What is it? My daughter, for you to say something like this, Prince William must have been very hard on you. Father, I have decided to marry Olama. I have given this a thought, Father, and it is apparent that marrying her shall bring peace to this household. William, are you serious or is this one of your usual pranks? My grandfather is no mischief. I have decided to stop chasing shadows, fighting my mind, but yield to what my soul needs. Mm -hmm. All I'm is what my soul needs. I'll be giving you a blessing. Are you trying to poison me? I beg your pardon? Are you trying to poison me? I have told you countless times to stay away from the things I eat. Have I not? Yes. I'm your wife. What is wrong with me preparing your meals? It is not your responsibility. We have domestic staff in the palace. Let them handle it. Stop with the busybody. He's not going to endear me to you. Never. It will not happen. You've always wanted to be part of royalty. Now you're married to a prince. Why don't you just enjoy 
the title and leave me alone, Alamba. I hate you. Can you not sit? Stay off my lane. I don't know, I can't help you, but I just hate you. It's effortless. Get out. Hola. I foresaw this. That was why I was trying to convince you to move on with your life. I know. But you so. Prince William is the only man that I have ever known. I love him so much that I don't even know how to leave. The love you have for him, is it worth the torture you receive? It is said that evil requires the sanction of a man. And I agree, because you sanction whatever you're passing through. I agree too. But he's whom he was afraid to love. He's already half dead. For love is the essential reason for living. You speak of love. God is love. And he understands that love cannot be false. It is a thing of free will. Ola. Prince Williams does not love you. Yes, and you know it. Ola, you are a very beautiful woman. Why are you wasting your life on him? I do not want to see you at the palace again. Okay. Stop coming there to see all of them. Why would I do that? Because I have said so. Because if you question my authority, there will be dire consequences. Your friend Olama wants to be queen and I'm going to make her queen, but a very lonely queen. No friends, no visitors. Her world will be very lonely. Chisum, if you stop by the palace again, I am going to shoot you. And nothing will happen.
Let me tell you a secret. One of the reasons why I am so kind to you is because I see a lot of his mother in you. A woman with a strong will. A will that does not yield easily to pressure once he knows what he really wants. Understand. When it did it become an offense to be seen with the king? All of them don't upset me, so I don't stick my fingers in your eyes. I saw you talking to myself, and both of you talking. What were you two talking about? I need to know. I see. Prince Williams, you're probably afraid that um, I must have told the king how you've been mistreating me. Right? Please come off it. Nothing like that happened. Uh, Olama, you will not walk out on me. Olama! Ha! Ah! <laughs> this girl is asking for trouble. Yes. Please, Williams. I am not in the mood. 
You didn't tell me that I'm also a prisoner in this palace. Well, if you wish to know, I went to visit my sister. On whose permission? So you left the palace without my permission to go plot your witch of a mother how to kill me. Huh? Let's go! Stop! You want to be the queen, right? You found a way to get yourself into this palace. I am going to show you the true meaning of loneliness. And next time you leave this palace without my permission, I am going to put you in a cage. Try me. Kelechi called yesterday ah. and he said he'll be coming back in two days time. Ah, that's wonderful. <laughs> Can't wait to see him. <laughs> you don't know how much I miss that boy. Ah, I, know. <laughs> I know. You two are fond of each other. Yes, you can see that again. But anyways, he's coming back soon and this time he won't be leaving. That's good. Mm -hmm. Ah. <laughs> I will arrange a feast for him. <laughs> that would be nice. Oh, uh, yes. You'll be excited. Kelechi. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Oh, oh, this looks good. <laughs> hey, I miss, I miss this moment. <laughs> How you been? I'm good. Welcome, you look nice. Welcome, welcome. Come on, oh, come on, yes. come on. Let's go inside. Oh, you look amazing. how you doing, baby? <laughs> come on, let's, let's get a shot. Since I came in, I've not seen my dad. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he went for an important meeting. I'm sure he'll send me back. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, son. You'll see him soon enough. Now that you're back. Come in, this. Oh, thank you, Dad. <laughs> thank you, Granddad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I miss I miss you guys so much. We miss you too. I miss you guys so much. <laughs> We've all missed you too. <laughs> thank you, all. This food is so delicious. <laughs> huh? <coughs> Made for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, mom. You're welcome. Now you bought your food. You can't you can't get this outside. <laughs> I can see it. Oh.
my son. Ah, you look nice. Yeah. Mm. I like your time. Are you going out? Yes. Uh, I want to me take a walk around. Um, to no way in particular. I just want to take the sightseeing around. I'll miss this kid though. <laughs> I, I understand. You should. Um, but please, hope you're going out with the guards. Oh, no, why? I'm a grown man now, Mom, and I can take care of myself. I understand that you're a grown man, but you need to allow them to do their job. Besides, that's what they're being paid for, and it's for your own security. Okay, if you insist, Yes, <laughs> I insist. <laughs> and by the way, I'll, I'll stop by and see Grandma. I got some stuff for her. Mom? Is everything okay? I, I talked about grandma and the continent's changed. Is she okay? Son, your grandmother passed away last year. I'm sorry. Why, why did you not tell yes. me? I didn't want to distract you from schoolwork. It was. Oh, father. Uh, son. <laughs> see, see. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> I miss you. Where are you headed? Uh, just stick <laughs> around around the kingdom. Uh, let's see. <laughs> My friends, you know. It is fine. Uh, I know I haven't had time for you. Don't mind me. I have been busy lately. But I assure you that by the time you return, I'll be here. Thank uh, you, dear. Have fun. Thank you very much. Mom? Uh, all right, Thank you, okay. uh, Don't forget to go with the guards. Okay, okay, okay Mom. <laughs> Listen to me. I am a king. And I need him new. I am a king. The next time. As a matter of fact, henceforth, anytime you see me, wherever you see me, you address me as a king. Mbano. Aro! I can't do that. I am a son of this land. And it's taboo for me to call you a king. While your father, the king, is still alive. Is that so? Hi! Call me Prince one more time when you see me and you see what I'll do to you. That will be your last day here on earth. What are you doing here? Your father the king gives me this land. I don't care who I look at this thing. Now, my prince. Uh, sorry. Your highness, if you don't leave this place right now, go to get it. I want you to stand there. Okay, get, get out! It's your, it's your, get, 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 get,
Get out of this! Your priests, your priests are occupied with them. Let me see you again. And I make your eyes on the chair. Your priests. You can never come here again. Your priests. Behave yourself, oh, my prince. Behave yourself, oh. <laughs> It is either the spirit that made her mad is there, or the one that will save her is there. What is that thing that is beating the drum, drum of madness? The Prince William. No, whatever it is will never stop. Yes, since he derives pleasure in fitting pens, so shall pen cleave in his asshole. Mbamba, Biko, it has not gotten to that, my son. Please, I think I have to inform the Igwe about it. It is not too late. Please. No. It is too late. It is too late or no? God! I want you to get the youth together. Tell them to gather at the village square. Mm? Thank you. I am coming there to address them. Dear Majesty, the Dizole Vomp does not know where his wife Sue serves. A journey to the stream does not count when the pot is full or when the pot is empty. Your Majesty, without mincing words, Prince William is desecrating our land and the name of this royal household. Here! Yeah. Father, I don't understand. No quite more. What have I done now? You know, I think I'm going to have to place a ban on you. Yes, I'll tell them at the entrance of the palace not to allow you come here again. Yes. Because I don't understand. Every time you come here, you come here with some bogus postulation that does not make any sense. How can you sit there and say that I am desecrating the royal household? Because I'm asking, what is rightfully mine? What have I done? You wish to bring your curse upon yourself. Why do you want to rule this land? Even if that means presence? Father, it is very simple. Since we're all seated here, we might as well address the issue. The bone of contention is that you have been sitting on that throne for too long. Oh yes, Father. I have waited for that throne for too long. Because of this throne, Father, I was not allowed to live freely as a growing young man. Because of this throne, I could not do the things that I really wanted to do. You constantly told me, William, you are king. Act like one. Stand up straight. For someday you are going to be sitting on that throne as a king. Father, have you suddenly become like our politicians who constantly tell us that we're leaders of tomorrow and they are still in power even as you and I speak? Father, because of that same throw, my love life was brought to peril. I was forced by you and your elders in council to marry a woman that I am not in love with. My life is on hold because of this throne, Father. Can you not see it? So what, Father? So what? If I rule while you're still alive, Father, so what? For how long, Father, I, am I going to wait for you to join your ancestors so that I can become king? Father, what if I die waiting for you to die? <clears throat> Father, you have been king for too long. And I'm saying that it's high time you stepped down so that I can take that which belongs to me. That throne you are sitting on is my throne. As a matter of fact, Father. You're old and weak, too old to sit to the administration of Omo Oma. I don't care how you do it. 
dead or alive, Father. Get out. I need to be king. Dead or alive, Father. Please, William. William, you shut that your mouth. How dare you cancel your father the king in such manner? Are you out of your mind? Really? Even in your hour? Um, oh no. I beg you in the name of that little shrine that you worship in your compound to address me one time by the title of an ordinary prince. And I'll show you that before nightfall, your manhood will be chopped off. Ono will try me. Ono will try me. Try me. William! So you wish me dead? You wish me dead, William? I curse you this day. I, as you do the second of whom woman land. May the gods remove the crown of kingship entirely from your presence. You will never be king. I curse you. Just as you wish to sit on my throne in my presence, so will you live to see your son wear the crown. Make this word pass, and they will pass. You will be a slave in this land. From that day, I, Israel the second of Omo Wabanan, I have spoken. Um, Father, you see, um, those are just my words and I really am not moved by them. What I am saying is that you're sitting on the throne. That is my entitlement. Father, get out of the throne and let me rule. Enough is enough. That is why we are here. Ekusquamo. Father, if you do not die, I can help you die. Huh? Chimu. Enough is enough. Eh? I have spoken my mind. I'm out of this place. Yeah. Um. Oh, no more warmer kingdom. Your Highness. No. You are not only the no. And traditional prime minister of this kingdom, but you are also my right hand man. <coughs> Sorry, your highness. Sorry. Yes, you are my right hand man and confidant. <coughs> so I'm asking you to carry out these words of mine because I believe the end is near. Highness. It is perhaps even at hand. So I want you to make sure <coughs> Sorry Your Highness. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Make sure that you prepare Kelechi. Kelechi to be crowned as soon as I am gone. Not William. No, not William. <coughs> because I have cursed him. William is cursed. He will he will never be king in Umuwama kingdom. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. 
make sure Kalaji ascends the throne of Tamir. <sighs> Prepare him well. <sighs> this is my last testament and my last instructions to you. So give me your truth, your promise that you will carry out these instructions. So no. I will, Your Majesty. I will. Yes. I will. Yes. So I just be my last decree. Yeah. <coughs> Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. Your Highness. Life, they say, is a struggle within ourselves. It is a tug of war between moving forward and slipping backward, between happiness and misery. When virtue is lost, benevolence appears. When benevolence is lost, right conduct appears. When right conduct is lost, expedience appears. Expedience is the mere shadow between right and wrong. It is the beginning of this order. We all have seen what happened. And the barrier of our king, Ezodo, is over. My fellow elders, it is time for us to move on with our lives. What do you suggest in this case of Prince William? Well, uh, Onu, you have spoken well. But the fact remains that Prince William is the next person in line to ascend the throne. That is no, no. He's under a curse. At our very eyes, his father, our late king, cursed him. Eh? So how is he supposed to ascend the throne as the next in line? Sana ajukwa ajuju, kain wajira hoje. We all know, still, he's the next person for the throne. In that case, I suggest we invite the chief priest. He is the only one that can tell us what to do now. <clears throat> Life is the most difficult exam many fail because they try to copy others and not realizing that everyone has a different question paper and we are not given a bad or good life from Oseblower. We are given a life but it's up to us either to be good or bad. Each year 
I must say that your opening speech threw us off. Because I believe that the reason we're all gathered here is to decide when I'm going to be crowned king since my father has joined his ancestors. I do not understand why we are suddenly taking lectures on morals. Oh no. It has been four weeks since my father died. The throne is vacant. The people need a king. What date are we choosing for my coronation as king? You are right, my prince. But we must hear from the chief priest first before the coronation date is fixed. Prince Williams, you cannot be crowned the king of this kingdom. The gods have rejected you. Saying. <laughs> it's only a foolish partridge that think itself a peacock. Only a foolish vulture that doesn't know the shame in its name. The kingship of this kingdom has been given to your son, Galechi. Galechi, you must choose yourself a wife between now and 40 days. Yes, for on the 40th day, Shall the girls assemble to bless your reign? As you desired to rule over your father as a king while he was still alive, so shall you live to watch your son rule over you as a king. Yes, all things being equal. Kelechi, you must get ready. No! Hey! <laughs> Chief Priest, enough! That is preposterous! No! Cut iron nonsensical what you have just said! Chief Priest is absurd! I don't accept it! Elders in council tell this Chief Priest that what he has said you will not accept! Tell the gods! They lie! Prince Williams has said that they lie! They lie! They lie! They lie! They lie! No one, no man, dead or alive shall take that which belongs to me! This throne is my inheritance! This throne! It's my best wife! No one! Tell them! That is a lie! Hey! Fast and warm with her! It is a lie! They lie! Fast and warm with her! They lie! Prince Williams, you do not speak blasphemy of the gods. Otherwise, you should get ready to challenge the gods to a duel. Prince Kelechi. Get ready to ascend this throne. You have 40 days. You have 40 days to ascend this throne. And no man, no mortal man can stop you. The gods have spoken. Lamb. Lamb. Don't you think this whole idea is a bad one? I beg your pardon? This kingship thing, Mom. Dad is still alive and I meant to be ruler of this kingdom. Go <laughs> and go. Son, one thing you must know is that the way of the gods are not the ways of men. And this land belongs to the gods. They see the heart of everybody. And if they have decided that you will be the king of this kingdom and not your father, you need to stop making a fool out of their decision. But mom, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying they are not wise. All I'm saying is I, I do not want a catastrophe to befall this household. I have, I have this strong feeling that dad is not happy about everything going on around us right God now. God forbid it. My son, God forbid it. Nothing will ever happen to this household. Listen, I 
am your mother. And I will never deceive you. Okay? All you need to do right now is get yourself a wife. Yes. And I will advise you on that face. Instead of looking for one of these maidens during the dance contest to make a wife, why don't you look for a woman of your own that you like? As long as she's from this kingdom. Uh, but mom, don't you think 40 days is quite a short time to, to meet a maiden and get married to her? What time do I have to get to know her? Her personality? Her lifestyle? I understand, my son. But you see, according to the traditions of this land, when you meet the woman you want to marry, okay. within the 40 days, she'll come stay in the royal house for 10 days. 10 days? Yes. Where we'll watch her and her attitude. And then she will serve the royal family for maybe for a couple of days. We'll secretly watch her, okay? Mm, okay mom. You have nothing to worry about. Okay, I am here for you, son. Okay? I feel relieved. <laughs> Thank so, you, Bo. Come on, let's finish up. You see why I like being around you all the time. <laughs> it must be. <laughs> Remind these are others that have suddenly forgotten our traditions that they can not crown my son king while I'm still alive. How is that even possible? Oh no, does that make sense? <laughs> eh? My prince, life is just one of those things you take as it comes. It might be good to you one day, bad the other. What are you but you out? love it so much, so cherish it. What are you saying? This is the decision of the gods. How? And we cannot change it. I don't understand. I myself have wronged the gods. Even though you thought I was doing it for you. But I was equally doing it for my own selfish reason. But those years have gone by. I have made amends and reconciled with the gods and never to go against their wish. My friends, I will advise you to go home and embrace a new dawn. So you have deceived me. Oh no. I am in this mess right now because I trusted you through the years. Oh no, you are the only friend that I had. My confidant, my right hand man. And at a time like this when I need you to speak up the most. Hey, you tell me this. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh no, if these people go ahead to crown Kelechi my son, King, while I'm still alive, you are going down with me. My prince, do not incur the wrath of the gods. Oh no, us. try not to incur my wrath first. Mm. Speak up now, or I will take your life. <laughs> if you continue to search for what happiness consists of, you will never leave. If you are looking for the meaning of life, do not incur the wrath of the gods upon yourself. I know you cannot win with the gods. What he wants is what he goes for. What he wants is what he gets for. He will never give up. The day is bright, peaceful, and beautiful. Reminds me of how life is supposed to be. <laughs> how are you doing, son? I'm fine, father. And father, I'm, I'm really sorry about what happened at the throne room the other day. There's nothing, believe me. No. I, I know you must feel really bad about the whole situation and... Yeah, Lexi. <laughs> you know that I haven't had the time to... <sighs> 
Oscar. Sit. Thank you, Father. And have a conversation with you. And that is because I have been running around chasing shadows. <laughs> Not knowing that the gods have their own plans. Uh, mm. You have grown, Kelechi. And in 14 days, you're going to be sitting on that throne. I know you need me. But I also want you to stay focused. For I give you my word as your father that I am going to be here to support you as you ascend that throne. <laughs> Dad? Yes? Honestly, you don't know how I feel. I've been thinking about this whole kingship and trust me I cannot do it alone thank you father honestly I never had any intentions of ascending the mm, throne mm, 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 mm. <laughs> not so you do not question the gods Kelechi <laughs> ah. Kelechi For the gods are wise. You are my blood. You are my son. So what if you become king while I sit by <laughs> and support you? As your father. <laughs> Thank you, father. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I have your Are you serious? <laughs> You know, it's... Uh, uh, greatest, my prince. Greatest, my prince. My prince, you have a visitor. I have a visitor. I saw him. Oh, he's Okay. Hello. Oh. Mom? Oh, Good day. Uh, uh, welcome. Uh, please sit. Thank you. How are you? Oh, How was your journey? This is Kamsi, the maiden I told you about. Kamsi. Yes. Welcome, my darling. Thank you, my dear. How are you too? Oh, we should get you something to drink. Yes. Now I know. There is difference between knowing something and hearing about that same thing. That you heard something doesn't mean you know it. You what haven't? I've heard, to perceive what I've seen in this palace. For real? Yeah. You haven't seen that in years. <laughs> what was it there? Thank you for the call. I really appreciate it. It's amazing. I love it. Tell me about you. Tell me more about you. What else do you want to know about me? I've told you the equation. My family history. In my education background. I said, in a love life. You will not be shut up. You will not be No? 
I don't have this yet. Though I had a close friend in school, but we never got into it. So I've not experienced love before. Why do you? Why do you ask? We don't know more. It's not because we like something that you don't know. You're not just people that you don't know. I don't want to smart. I'm telling you. I think that's why we love you. Huh? How are you supposed to do that? I'll do it. I'm doing my shit. program is very interesting. <laughs> Have you been following it? Uh, no, but uh, Kelechi seems to be following it. Why did you open the door like that? Oh, I'm sorry. If I have not, you wouldn't have opened the door. Why are you avoiding me? Is it because you told me your mind? You know, I, I feel I'm taking advantage of you. I don't think so. I feel the same way. The very moment I set my eyes on you, he caught my heart. Why did you do that? I had always wanted to do it. that I spent the night here. Okay. Let me go. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay, please, stay. Huh? Please. Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Give me 
some of these things. The reason why the reason why you came. Father, mm. yeah. Father. you have been busy. Ah, of course, <laughs> Father. Uh, walk with me. Uh, uh, you know, I cannot pretend that I have been seeing you. That beautiful maiden. Oh, yes. Um, what is going on between you two and who is she? Huh? Father. Yes. Uh, I love her. You do? Yes, <laughs> I do. <laughs> love is a beautiful thing. Yes. <laughs> and Father, you know the coronation is coming up soon. Yeah, so I think I'll be presenting her to the elders as my future wife. <laughs> I see. Ah, uh, she's beautiful, uh, which is very obvious. Uh, and I must say that I have heard her from afar say a few things, and I can also tell you that she is quite intelligent. So she would not make a very bad choice for a wife. Now, I think the elders would be impressed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for everything that I'm really grateful. You're welcome always, Kelich. Uh, you can go and let me not keep you have oh. a guest. Thank you, then. Yes. It is time. <laughs> hey baby. Son. This sudden closeness with your father. I am beginning to become uncomfortable with it. Mom. Mom, when will you let go of the past and embrace the future? The future? Yes, Mom. What future are you talking about? Mom, that has changed. <laughs> I need to help him so he, he does not keep feeling guilty for all the wrong he has done in the past. I come to think about it, Mom, he has apologized for all the wrong he did. Mom is your husband. I think it's high time you forgive him and let's go. 
so I can trust him again. My son, what an elder says sitting down. A child can never see, even if he climbed an Iroko tree. You need to be very careful of your father. Please, you're the only thing that I've got. I need you to be careful, please. I don't want to lose you. Okay, mom. Okay, okay. I will, mom. Promise. I promise. I promise. Good. Please, be careful, okay? Um, where's Kamsi? Oh, Kamsi. Uh, yeah. She should be in her room, I, I, I think. Uh, okay. uh, I hope she's fine. Yes. <laughs> We the elders and kingmakers have finalized every arrangement concerning your coronation. But what we don't know is if you have found a woman that will be your wife before that day. Yes, yes, I, I found a, a woman, a maiden of this kingdom that will be my wife. <laughs> Good. Can we see her? Yeah, sure. Please excuse me. My dear. My elders. Ah, someone. Please sit down. <laughs> Is that find that a wife? I said, <laughs> uh, my elders, this is Kamsi, yes, and she's a maiden of this kingdom. She's the one uh, that I've chosen to be my wife. Oh, you are welcome. Kamsi, you are too Hell, a man man wine. Thanks, my elders. you get on with this beautiful woman. Huh? Uh, it is a rare privilege that I did not even enjoy when I was your age, but um, that is a topic for another day. From you? Yes. <laughs> uh, you are here already. Uh, and we're just gossiping. <laughs> I shall leave the both of you uh, to have your moment. For father. Uh, yes. But I made you the whole food for all of us. Why not join us? Uh, maybe some other time. Uh, enjoy yourselves. I have a few things to do. Kindles. Huh? <laughs> enjoy yourselves. Uh. <laughs>
help you, you accomplish the task that I paid you for that you failed at. What nonsense tax are you talking about? No, let me ask you. Why are you so ruthless? Why do you want to kill your only son? Your own flesh and blood? Just because of your selfish desire. Just because of the throne. You want to take away the life of an innocent child. But no, I won't let that happen. Are you raising your voice at me? Have you suddenly forgotten who you're speaking to? Where you are? Oh, Mali Chamwa, how are you? I'm fine. You look beautiful, I must say. Thank you, my prince. I am not a prince. Eh? I am a king. You call me a king. Eh? I am a king to be. Very soon I shall become the king. <laughs> However, I will forgive you because I'll take you that you do not know. Eh? But you look like something that I have seen around before. Have we met? Not really. I've not been around. I just came back from youth service. Youth service? Aha. Uh because -huh. I know that I have not seen a beautiful maiden like you in this um, land. Youth service. So, can I be in Alona? Where do you work? What do you do? I'm job hunting. I'm hoping on God that soon something positive will come. Ha! Ah! Today is your lucky day because something positive has come up. I have something that fits your profile. Eh? Something that um, you'll be quite interested in. If you would get into the car so that we can drive to somewhere a bit more private and talk. I am sure that it's an offer that you'll take. Thank you. Thank you, my king. <laughs> Ah, uh, you see? Uh, that is why I have uh, decided that I would give you this job. Because uh, my instinct tells me that you do it very well. My prince, my king, since we got here, we've been talking about jobs. So if I may ask, what kind of job is that? You know, if I wear your shoes, I'll be asking how much I'm getting for the job. I'm offering you a whooping two million naira to carry out a simple task. What? Two million. Two million? Yes. I give you half of it now, if you agree, and you get the balance at the completion of the job. So, my friend, sorry, my king, what will I do? What do you want me to do to get this money? Settle down. <laughs> I have a son. His name is Kelechi. He is the prince because he's born into royalty. My son is single, willing to mingle and searching. I want you to seduce him. Get him to fall in love with you. And at the peak of your relationship with him, I want for you to poison him. It's that simple. Now let me tell you something. I'm no longer interested in, in your little dirty plot. Kelechi is a good man. Yeah. And I love him. If you try to touch him, 
I'll kill you personally. <laughs> You don't think that it is too late for this. It might interest you to know that you can no longer back out of this deal I have paid you. Oh, that! I knew it would come to this. Give me a second. Here is your evil money. I mean the one you gave me to kill your son. But I couldn't because I love him. Soon I will become a queen and that's a big money. Uh, uh, Andrew. You can't do this. If you try this, if you try this, I'm going to expose you. I'm going to tell my son why you're here and how you got here in the first place. I'm going to tell him that I have aged you. <laughs> Interesting. And I will tell your son that you contracted me to poison his food. But I couldn't because I love him. Try and let's do it. We can do it. What is this bread, Prince? 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 Very rude, <laughs> very arrogant. Uh, what is this bread, Prince? Um, son, so what are your plans for tomorrow? Um, uh, nothing new. Just go with the elders as tradition demands. Okay. Take her to her parents' house and when we return, they will continue. Mm, okay. Oh, that, that's okay. That's fine. Um, where's your father? I haven't seen him all day. Same, I've not seen him as well today. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> but you're fine. I'm stressed. You'll be okay. And you know, I'm not used to this whole tradition. <laughs> <laughs> but you survive, not yes, to worry. Yes, yes, well, thank you. Because I have your hands on you. I've constantly tried to kill you from when you were born, and each time I try, I never succeed. You were born to rule, you were born. As the ordained king of this kingdom. With jealousy and envy of your destiny. Draw me to evil acts. Get it. Get it. Huh? Huh? I your heart. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. I have hated you for too long.
cabrón. Today's event has proven that the gods do not lie. Onye Ruka of Unanya. So I come to fulfill the message of the gods. Today is exactly the 40 days that the gods have chosen to enjoy you. And on this day, you have faithfully fulfilled the obligations according to our tradition. <laughs> As you have accorded this land its maximum respect, the gods have also chosen to honor you this day. Yes. Odogu, atulewu. Onye like yagi, e like yanya. Onye like yagi, papi anuzo. Because you have the backings of our ancestor. Yes, yes. <laughs> So based on this, as many that are seated in this place today, they shall witness your coronation as Ezu Udo the third of Umuama. <laughs> People of Umuama, look what the gods have done. <laughs> the gods have sent you another powerful king. Let the coronation begin. <laughs> My By the power impact on me as the owner of this great kingdom, I hereby crown you the Ezudo Todd of Umuoma.
Sipa sirimengkarna cukup nafuh Dikonyai